Welcome dear audience students and scholars here I am Dr Ramjad Ali dear scholars so far as we have discussed about uh, flexible exchange rate fixed exchange rate and international interest rates uh, differentials and we have also discussed a case study related to international financial crisis Mexico 1994 and 1990 five in this video we are going to discuss another case study related to international financial crisis asia 1997 and 1998 in 1997 as the mexican economy was recovering from its financial crisis a similar story started to unfold in several asian economies including those of thailand south korea and especially indonesia the symptoms were similar high interest rates uh, falling asset values and a uh, depreciating currency in indonesia uh, for instance short term nominal interest rate rose is above 50% the stock market uh, lost about 90% of its value and the rupiah fell against the dollar by more than 80% the crisis led to rising inflation in these economies and to falling gdp so real gdp in in indonesia fell about 30% in 1998 making the downturn larger than any us recession since the great depression of 1930 so here we have to discuss one of the main question that what sparked this uh, fire storm the problem began in the asian banking systems for many years the governments in the asian nations had been more involved in managing the allocation of resources in particular financial resources that is true in the united states and other developed countries so some commentators had appreciated this partnership between government and private enterprise and had even suggested that united states should follow the example so over time however it became clear that many asian banks had been extending loans to those with the most political clout rather than to those with the most profitable investment projects once rising default rate started to expose this this crony capitalism as it was then called international investors started to lose confidence in the future of these economies so the rising risk premiums for uh, asian assets so this will also causing interest rates to skyrocket and currencies to collapse so international crisis of confidence often involve a vicious circle that can amplify the problem here is a brief account about that what happened in asia first problems in the banking system eroded international confidence in these economies second loss of confidence raised risk premiums and interest rates third rising interest rates together with the loss of confidence depressed the prices of stock and other assets fourth falling asset prices reduced the value of collateral being used for bank loans fifth reduce collateral increased default rates on bank loans and fifth sorry sixth greater default exhibited problems in the banking system so uh, no return to step 1 to complete and continue the circle if you have this problem then this problem will will be generated and this will further this will further generated and these problems are interlinked with one and other and they will 
extend the severity of uh, uh, financial crisis of Asia in 1997 and 1998. So uh, there are a number of arguments related to the, this vicious circle. So here vicious circle argument some economists have used this vicious circle argument to suggest that the Asian crisis was a self-fulfilling prophecy bad things happen merely because people expected bad things to happen most economists however thought that the political corruption of the banking system was a real problem which was then compounded by this vicious circle of reduced confidence as the Asian crisis developed the IMF and the United States tried to restore confidence much as they had with Mexico a few years earlier in particular IMF made loans to the Asian country to help them through the crisis in exchange for these loans uh, it is expected uh, and uh, the US and IMF uh, get the promise that uh, these government would reform their banking system and eliminate the crony capitalism. The IMF hope was that uh, the uh, short term loans and long term reform would restore confidence, lower the risk premium and turn the vicious circle into uh, a, a virtuous one. This policy seems to have worked. The Asian economy recovered quickly as compared to Mexico. So this is all about the international uh, financial crisis Asia 1997 and 1998. So see you with another video. Ciao.